For the Zips Digital Network, Chad Walker here with women's basketball head coach, Melissa Jackson. And coach, just give us a little uh, update uh, where you are with practice and preseason as we haven't talked to you in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I've been really um, happy, impressed um, with our practices so far. Um, I think we're on number 17. All right, so I've uh, been able to implement a lot of our offense and our defensive stuff. I think we're um, definitely ahead of where we were last year at this point. So feel good about it. We did a little inter-squad scrimmage the other day. I thought that went well and uh, honestly just had probably our best practice today. So I'm feeling good. <laughs> now I saw uh, just briefly out here, you had a little shooting competition. It looked like all the upperclassmen versus a lot of the uh, incomers and sophomores uh, and the incomers and sophomores, they took it to the upperclassmen today. They did, I mean, practice has been really competitive. So um, I think a theme of our team this year is depth. Uh, we have a lot of depth, um, obviously bringing in six newcomers. Um, I think a lot of them will get some minutes early on and um, an experienced senior class. Um, so it's been competitive, they've gone at each other, um, but they've also been great teammates too, which I really um, enjoy. Now on a general uh, type of question here, because of uh, NCA rules with closed scrimmages and stuff like that, but you got one coming up. Um, it's going to be nice to obviously go against someone other than yourselves. What are you looking out, looking to get out of that contest? Yeah, I think they're more than um, happy to, to scrimmage somebody else on, on Saturday. And, and like I said yesterday, we brought in um, some officials for the first time to an inner squad. So that kind of felt uh, like a little bit of a game. Um, and so, it, you know, I, I told the team we had a really good film session. Um, the season is, uh, is upon us. All right. And so that's another step in the process going against another team that will um, throw some stuff at us. You know, I'm not going to do a, a big scouting report on them, but um, it'll be good to go against somebody and, and get stuff on film again for us to watch. And, and learn and then you talked about the inner squad scrimmage a little bit you talked about the officials coming in uh, some new rule, rule changes that uh, uh, everyone's kind of getting adjusted to yeah. what are those rule changes that the fans when they come uh, watch here in a couple weeks what they can be looking for yeah, there's not a whole lot of new rule changes, which is good. I think the biggest one, obviously, is the shot clock. So, you know, ever since the first day of practice, we've implemented that. Um, so there's a little um, strategy involved, I think, you know, both, both from an offensive and a defensive standpoint. Um, so we've been working on that. Um, it, you know, it resets to 20 whenever the ball is in the front court, you know, so for, for fans and all that. So that would be a little bit of adjustment. Um, I think it's both on the, on the men and the women, um, so which is nice. Um, other than that, not, not too many other changes. Coach, as always, appreciate the time and we look forward to seeing all you fans come here to James A. Rhodes Arena for the exhibition contest against Tiffin. That's November 3rd at 2 p.m. Then two Fridays later it will be the home opener as the Zips will take on Purdue Fort Wayne. For the Zips Digital Network, have a great rest of your week and as always, go Zips!